In response to parent requests, I have created a new playlist, How to Teach Kids Number Sense. It will focus on subitizing, the recognition of small amounts of numbers without counting, picture equations, visual equations showing that the first two numbers equal the last number, number bonds, graphic organizers that show the relationship between three numbers, and 10 frames, 10 equal spaces to show how numbers are put together to create 10. The lessons will begin with subitizing, the recognition of small amounts of numbers without counting. They will begin with number recognition activities and then number match activities. Our second area of instruction will be picture equations, visual equations showing that the first two numbers equal the last number. We will begin with activities of addition to 5, then addition to 10, and then move into story problems, just like the one we see. Sammy had one marble. Tommy gave him nine marbles. Now Sammy has 10 marbles. One marble plus nine marbles equals 10 marbles. The next area of instruction is number bonds, graphic organizers that show the relationship between three numbers. We will begin with equations and then move to number bonds. We will also look at missing numbers and then story problems as in our example. Annie had six green apples and four red apples. How many apples did Annie have? So the number bonds show part to part to whole. So we have one part, six green apples, another part, four red apples, and the whole, which is 10, and it consists of six green apples and four red apples. Our next area of instruction is 10 frames. 10 equal spaces to show how numbers are put together to create 10. In our first example of story problems, we have a story about Annie. Annie has seven green apples. Shelley gave her three red apples. How many apples is, does Annie have now? We see three steps. One, kids begin with a blank 10 frame. For this story problem, step two would be kids add seven green apples. And then step three, they would add three red apples. They would count them and determine that they had 10 and then write the equation seven plus three equals 10. Then we move over to equations. There are different types. In our first example, we want kids to color the bones brown and tan to match each number equation. So in that first example, kids would color three bones brown and seven bones tan. And then in our second example, they have to match the correct equation to the 10 frame. And the first 10 frame shows seven plus three equals 10. And just a reminder, if you are new to this channel and you find this video helpful, please subscribe. 